Hi, I'm Liesl from Amalyze, and this is the first video of our tutorial series about our Listing Builder tool. With our Listing Builder, you can optimize your product listings. You can create and maintain them, and you can manage attributes, content, and your keywords. To become a successful seller or vendor on Amazon, your product listings need to be on point. Even the best products won't sell without an optimized and well-created listing. In this video, we'll show you how to upload an empty inventory file and a filled-in inventory file. Please note, to upload a filled-in inventory file, your reverse feed must be activated by Amazon Seller Support. Just contact them and request your reverse feed to be activated. Now, let me show you how it works. You can find the Listing Builder on your dashboard or in your menu under Optimization. Our Listing Builder tool will assist you in creating a complete listing, including your content and attributes. To start the process, just click the Create New Project button and then on Import Data. Next, you can choose between a filled-in inventory file or an empty inventory file. Amazon provides an inventory file template for each category and product type, which contains all the product type specific attributes. To receive an empty inventory file, go to Amazon, click on Inventory, and then Add Products via Upload. In the tab Download an Inventory File, you can search for your specific category or product type. We'll be using the example Trash Can. Afterwards, click Search. For our example, 15 results were found for the keyword trash can. You'll have to select at least one search result. Your selection will then show up in the summary of your selected products. In step two, you can choose your marketplace. We're using the US marketplace in our example. In step three, you'll select a mode. Please use the custom mode for your file. Next, click on Add All to add all of your selected attribute groups into the template. Afterwards, click on Generate Template. Your generated template will show up under the Previously Generated Templates tab, and it'll also immediately be downloaded to your device. Now, let's go back to Shield. Click the Empty Inventory tab, go to your previously downloaded file, and click Open. The green check mark shows you that your file has been approved. Next, select the type. Are you a seller or a vendor? We'll select seller for our example since we've downloaded our inventory file from Seller Central. Then choose your marketplace and click next. Please make sure to choose the same marketplace as you did in Seller Central when requesting this file. Now your imported data will be checked for errors. Green check marks mean everything looks perfect. Next, you need to name the SKU since it's an empty inventory file. We'll name our SKU trash can 15 liters. Then you'll name your project to be able to, for example, find it in the Explorer later on. You can change the project's name at any time. And lastly, you'll choose the product type. Our example shows only one product type in the uploaded inventory file. The selectable product types are provided in the inventory file and are based on the selection you made in Seller Central. The next step is optional. You can use keywords, but you don't have to, as you can add or modify the keywords you'd like to use in your listing builder project at any time later on. If you choose to use some keywords for your project, you can either type them into the list or you can import them from a list. Then click Next and confirm your settings. Now you'll see your new project in the Listing Builder. It'll show you the SKU if your project was created via a seller or vendor inventory file, and you'll see the product type. If you already have products listed on the marketplace, which you would like to update with our Listing Builder, Amazon provides the Category Listing Reports, aka Flat Files. These reports already contain all the existing information about the SKU you've listed on the marketplace. Now let's import a filled-in inventory file. Go back to your Seller Central account on Amazon, click on Inventory, and then go to Inventory Reports. There you can choose the Category Listings Report, which needs to be activated by Amazon Seller Support. 
and download a filled in inventory file. Select your category, select the date for listing created after, choose your status filter and request your report. As you can see, it'll take a few minutes to generate this report. Once your report has been created, you can go back to Shield and upload your filled in inventory file by clicking on the Create New Project button. Afterwards, your Explorer will open and you can select the correct filled in inventory file and it'll be uploaded into our Listing Builder tool. The green check mark shows you that your file has been approved. Then select if you're a seller or vendor and choose your marketplace. We'll choose seller again as our downloaded file was provided from Seller Central. And you're also able to select the folder you want to use for this project. Now your imported data will be checked for any errors and green check marks mean everything looks good and your SKUs have been imported successfully. Now you can decide if you want to import the SKUs of all your ASINs, only some or just one, then click next. The available keyword selection is, as mentioned before, optional. And now click confirm. Now you can see your projects inside your folder. For us, it'll be all three of them since we imported the SKUs of all ASINs. After creating a project based on an empty inventory file, as well as three projects based on our filled in inventory file, you can now start editing or exporting and importing again to Amazon. To start building your content and attributes, simply click on one of your projects. In the second part of this tutorial series, we'll be explaining this step to you in more detail. And once you're done with editing, you can also export your data. You can choose between exporting some of your data or all of it. Click on export data to export your inventory file. A mass export is also possible after editing your projects. Via drag and drop, you can now select the fields you want to export and afterwards click the export button. Mandatory fields are displayed with a lock icon and can't be removed from the export. Now you'll receive a TSV file, which is ready to be uploaded to Seller Central. To do so, go back to Seller Central, click on Inventory, then on Add Products via Upload. Now you have to select Upload Your Inventory File, then click on Browse Files and select your file or just drag the file from your desktop into the box. Your flat file is now uploaded and since it's a text document, select the text format, click upload file and Amazon will process the file and its data. Now you know how to upload an empty and a filled in inventory file. This is the first but very crucial step of how to create a powerful product listing. Always take your time with your listings. An immaculate product listing is a vital key to your success as a seller or vendor on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, happy analyzing.